Mr. Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, couldn't be here today. We all know he's the nicest guy in Hollywood. I've, yeah. I've heard that. But what is something um, that sort of surprised you about working with him? Or, or Well, I had a trailer right next to him, and I kept hearing thumping. Oh. And then I, yeah, and you think, yeah, well, you think what you think. And then, <laughs> and then I found out he had a, a tap dance board in his trailer. You know about this, right? Yeah. yeah. And he would tap dance in his trailer. Just an amazing guy, yeah. He's kind of shockingly handsome, I will say. Kind of like, I met him for the first time, I was like, you are stunningly handsome, <laughs> dude. You are really cool looking. <laughs> Bad Education is the darkly comic true story of the largest embezzlement scandal in American public school history. You did it. You could have taken <laughs> a few adjectives out of there. <laughs> you <laughs> trimmed it fast. Flabby. I was, it, it took me a while to get into it. Reading scripts is really painful for me. I'm a really slow reader and there's a lot of, t yeah. and I was like, where is this going? Where is it? And then as the story started unraveling, I was fascinated. I was so hooked on these, uh, characters and what they what they did it was shocking every um, um, relevation well, not relevation what's the word uh, revelation thank you uh, relevation that's when you you know <laughs> every revelation was just mind blowing I thought it was incredible and then knowing that I was going to get to work with him because I was a huge fan of thoroughbreds and I thought I'm very excited to work with Corey I was really drawn in by um, the writing, I feel. Like Mike Mikowski just wrote an incredible script. Like the pace is so distinctive and, and fun and it just uh, really, I, I felt like I was in that world. So that's really what, what drew me to the, to the story. Well the tone is what drew me to the story. I thought it was a real um, high wire act. It was, if it was gonna work, I knew the movie had to be very, very funny and also very serious and, and very uh, empathetic and very nuanced. Well, that was important to me, too. I think when I met you the first time, you know, you didn't want it to be broad and pushed or whatever. It had to be, come from character. You know, mm -hmm. so well, that, you should have told me that before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I handed it. Oh, we have it. We have it. You haven't seen it, right? Oh, no, we I haven't it. seen it. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, I think we're going to wrap things up with our fishbowl game here. If uh, Ray, you want to maybe pick up the ball. Character from film or TV you wanted to be like when you grew up. Are you grown up yet? We're getting there. Yeah. Okay. I'm still, yes. I hope. This is yeah, this is a weird one, but it's honest. I, I really wanted to be the genie from Aladdin, the Robin oh. Williams genie. I just thought he was the coolest guy. Oh, well. I wanted to be Barbara Eden, genie. Just, just what I was going to, oh, wait, no, 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 not her. I was going to say um, Elizabeth Montgomery, bewitched. That's oh. who I wanted to be, mm. just to. Mm, let's see. I want to be like, Steve McQueen was kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, you guys know Steve McQueen? <laughs> I wanted to be the best me that I could be. Whoa. Get out. Get out. Damn.